Hey yo guys, what's up? Janus here and today let's discuss about the forest Halal or the scientist Halal, the forest type and the healer type as well. She's a healer type and a 5 star net servant. So before starting anything, I would really love to recommend you guys to subscribe to my channel to keep on enjoying contents like this, okay? Now let's get started with her skills. The first skill is known as the Meteor Balestra. 70% chance of disrupting the enemy from healing HP. Okay, that's good. 70% chance to decrease enemy defense for 30 seconds. Level 5. Okay, that's so many things going on right over there. That's good. Next one is Star of Hope. Heals HP of all allies. That's good. Heals amount is based on the caster's attack. So more attacks he's gonna have, the more HP she is gonna heal. Increases the caster's attack for 60 seconds. Oh my god. Wow. Like she is a attacking healer, like a DPS healer character. Mm. The next one is Quasar. Removes all debuffs on all allies. Wow. That's a pretty bit, uh, you know, like very hard to find in the healers except for the Dark Dunkle Hunt. That's good. Removes all debuffs on all allies. That can be pretty good. Pretty handy in most of the situations, guys. 70% chance to remove all buffs on the enemies. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is good. This is really good. Next one is the passive skill. Becomes immune to attack reduction. Uh huh. Increases HP by 500% of attack. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, so, uh, like, it's really, it really doesn't have much to do with their healing skills. So, it's not really that much of important, I guess. Uh, a little bit of waste. Increases damage dealt to dungeon boss Omen for all allies by 30%. Wow! 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 Oh my god! That's good! That's great! That's awesome! Damn, son! That's good! So if you are gonna pair her up with the uh, Water Halel as a supporter and the Healer as the Forest Halel, then you will be receiving a total of 60% attack boost. Are they stackable? If they are stackable, then that's really great, guys. If not stackable, then better try to use her with the other servants, okay? So that's really great, guys. With this Healer on your team, you are actually gonna receive an extra amount of damage. Especially in the Omen Void, okay? That's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good. Next one is the team passive. Defense of all element allies uh, increases by 45% at PvP. Not really that useful, okay? So she is uh, obviously above average character, okay? She can be uh, like an S tier character. Really good. Really good. Really great servant. I uh, would really love to have her in my arsenal. Well, uh, so far I still have don't have her yet. But so many things going on right over there, guys. And she's a little bit of unique healer because her heal really depends upon the attack. Because for most of the other healers, it really depends upon their, like, uh, you know, like, they heal, like, 70% of the max HP. So, that's how they go. That's how it goes, right? In the normal trend. But this one, the more attack she is uh, gonna have, the more she is gonna heal. And, obviously, with the passive skill, increases HP by 500% of the attack. Mm. So, more attack she has, then the more HP she is gonna get. So, she is, like, a tank unit at the same time. Okay? Just a tank unit without the taunt. <laughs> A tank unit without the taunt, okay? So, she is gonna be a very beefy character, guys. And she is gonna boost up the attack of the whole team. That's so great, guys. So, she is gonna be really good in the tiles, PvP, Omen's Void, Heat's Void, okay? And overall, she is a pretty good unit, guys. Pretty good unit. And uh, now, let's get into the equipment, guys. As she is the healer, we really need to focus on the eruption, okay? Eruption and life... Rune, I mean like gears, eruption gear and the life gears are the best way to go with her, okay? Uh, when talking about the weapon, the shirt and the pants, obviously the primary stats are the flat stats. So you will not need to worry about them. For the additional stats or the substats, you will need to focus on the speed, uh, HP percentage boost, defense percentage boost and finally the accuracy percentage boost okay these are the four boosts that you would really want to have it on her gears okay and the last one uh coming into the gloves uh the speed boost should be on the primary stat whereas for the helmet you need to have the hp percentage on the primary stat 
and for the shoes you need to have the hp percentage on the primary stat so that's how it goes guys so speed hp percentage hp percentage on the gloves helmet and the shoes respectively that's how easy it is and give her the eruption and the life gear set okay nothing else just eruption gear and the live gear set so this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to keep on enjoying the contents like this in the near future and guys please leave your opinions and views in the comment section below and i would really love to communicate with you guys so see you guys in the next video